Hi, how's it going? I'm Malachi Grubb, CEO and engineer of Elite Automation. Today, we're going to be showing you guys how to uh, create a robot cell from a backup. A robot's backup in order to import that particular robot into RoboGuide. So if you have a if you have a robot on a plant floor that already has a program in it and whatnot, you can take that robot's uh, backup and put it into RoboGuide. So that way you can actually see the motions and see all the points that are taught within the program. What you'll need to get started though is you will need an all the above backup, and in that all the above backup that you retrieve from the Fanuc robot. There'll be a file in there called a, it's a .dt file, so that's its extension type. You don't necessarily need to find that .dt file, but I'm just letting you know that like if you do an all the above backup, you should be fine. But you can also verify by going into the files that are saved into your USB drive and just make sure that .dt file extension is there. So let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. All right, so we got RoboGuide opened here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to the bottom. We're gonna click New Cell. Uh, we're going to say just Handling Pro, next. Now, if your robot's running a different uh, uh, package in it, then you may have to run that package. Like some robots run Palletizing uh, Pro package. All right, so here you have different options on what you want to do. So you want to create a robot from a file backup. We're going to navigate to where we have that, that file stored at. Yeah, so it's right here. Create a robot from a file backup. You can also create from an existing copy as well, as you can see down below. So we're going to go ahead and navigate to where our backup is. So this could be, I wouldn't advise this being on your USB drive. I'd put it on your computer. So there's that .dt file that I was referring to. So backdate.dt. And then we'll just click that, select it, open it. And it already knows. It's kind of like a step file. It's like you open one file and then it opens multiple files along with it. And this right here should auto select any options that you have in your robot. So this is where like this is really, really powerful is because... Uh, it's going to select your, your robot model number exactly. It's going to select your options that you have. Uh, and we're kind of just looking through this and verifying it, hitting OK. So what it's going to start doing is it's going to take your robot back up, and then it's going to convert it uh, into a virtual robot. So in RoboGuide, it really doesn't know much of a difference of it being in a virtual simulation or the real world. The, this uh, virtual robot actually does not really know the difference. So this process right here is going to take a few minutes. We're just going to go ahead and skim through this. This can literally take anywhere from like 30 seconds to 5 minutes depending on your computer speed. So we'll just skip past this part. Alright, and so it's uh, about to be wrapping up here in just a second. Boom. I'm kind of going to show this transition. Okay, it's just saying, hey, DCS was not able to be applied. Uh, and it just forced you to okay it. Uh, and with that being said is it just doesn't allow you to import DCS. If you don't know what DCS is, it's dual check safety. Uh, you can check out some of our other videos. We actually have a couple videos out on dual check safety. Uh, but it's a safety feature and it cannot be turned on without having confirmation. Boom, boom, boom. And so really right here is just doing some more processing, doing some finalization. Boom. So now we have our virtual robot. It kind of stinks that it doesn't allow you to apply DCS, but if you see down there in the bottom of the screen, it says System uh, 212 need to apply DCS parameters. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to go over to DCS. And you see, here's all our teach pennant programs real quick. Uh, just So we're just basically showing you that it does uh, import everything. Teach pennant files, everything. Another big one's I.O. It'll import all your I.O., so that's a huge one. Uh, and also your I.O. configuration. So if you need to use that configuration for another application. Reset. Okay. Menu. I'm going to go next. System. DCS. Uh, see these ones that say change? That, mean, that indicates they're changed it, because there were nothing before. So we're going to hit apply. And then... Uh, it's just making sure you just basically verify on each individual point that that it says is uh, is changed. So being that this is a robot backup, 
you know, for the most part, we feel pretty comfortable. You should still skim it and just see what all is there because uh, there could be a, an off chance that the software didn't mess, didn't do right. So after you apply those changes, you have to cycle your power like we just did there. This will reboot. Your DCS parameters will be updated and you'll be ready to go. Uh, as you can see right here, there's no errors on the teach pendant. We're good to go. Hopefully this video was useful for you guys. Hopefully you guys got some uh, good knowledge out of this. If you didn't know how to create a uh, robot from a backup, because it is a little bit tricky at first. I mean, after you know how to do it, it's very, very simple. But it's like one of those things, like if you don't even know the uh, extension type or if you don't know that you need to do it all the above, like a lot of people make the mistake of thinking they need an image backup. But in reality, a lot of times an image backup is fairly useless. You might be, I think you can actually do a uh, backup from an image with a uh, with RoboGuide as well. But uh, really just the all the above backups, kind of the easiest way to go. If you found this useful and you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that bell notification thing that they talk about. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.